Hi students, welcome to the online classes. Myself Sai Kumar, Faculty of Physics in Montessori English Medium School, L R Beta Palakul. So today we are going to start science lesson, physical sciences lesson that is from the ninth standard. The lesson name is motion. So this is the first session of the chapter motion. So what do you mean by motion? What is the meaning of motion? so in your daily life you will observe several objects in motion you know the meaning of motion so what is the meaning you know about the motion is you just simply you will say that moving object every moving object will be considered as motion you will say that from your point of view every moving object will be considered as to be in motion so yes every the similar word every moving object will be in motion only so but there is some other point of view is also there in the concept of motion so in this lesson we will learn in depth about the concept of motion so motion is nothing but moving objects for example i was here i was just standing here only from the starting of this video so if i was moving then you can say that i was in motion so when you will say that an object is moving when you will say the object is moving if its position is changing if its position is changing what is the meaning of motion its its position is changing initially i was at that position and later i was walked to this this some distance and i reached to this position so initial position is this one and my final position is this one so what was happened the position was changed what was happened the position was changed in motion in motion position will be changes position changes then the object is said to be moving or then the object is said to be in motion so what is the definition of motion if the position of the object is changing then the object is said to be in motion but it is not at over the definition of the motion is not at over so to learn in depth about the motion concept of motion we need to understand we need to understand the term we need to understand the term relative we need to understand the term relative so after knowing the concept of relative and i will we will we will learn a final definition for the motion after understanding the concept of relative we will learn final definition of the motion but simply now just remember motion is nothing but moving if any object was moving then you can say that the object is is in motion so what is so in definition we will use that if the position is if the position of the object is changing so let us learn about the definition of the motion in depth so in your daily life you will observe the several vehicles on the road aeroplanes cars trees and walking so you will observe the motion in your daily life regularly so you will observe the trees if you observe the trees what is what is the state of the that tree what is the state state means its situation whether it is in rest if its position is changing then the then it said to be in motion if the position doesn't changes we will call it as rest we will call it as rest if position changes we will call motion if position doesn't changes we will call it as rest position doesn't changes if the position of the object doesn't changes then you can say that object is at rest so if you find a tree on the side of a road can you say that the tree is at rest no some from other point of view the tree can also be said to be in motion oh how how the tree can be said to be in motion so to understand that we need to know the concept of relative so sometimes whenever you are you are when you are in the train you will felt that the train was moving you will felt that the train was moving but if you observe the train doesn't move did, did you ever experience that moment the train appears to be moving but it doesn't moves so whenever we are going in a train whenever 
when we when we are on the train sometimes we will experience that the train is to be in motion but it it is at rest the train is rest but we will felt that it was moving sometimes when the train is at is at a platform what we will felt the train is rest only it is not moving but we will felt that the train was in moving so we will experience that so what is the reason behind that so we are standing on the earth and earth is rotating earth is rotating about its own axis but we cannot we cannot experience that mo motion why we cannot experience the motion of the rotation of the earth why how does how this app happened so to understand that we need to know the concept of relative we need to know we need to understand the term called as relative so let us try to understand the word relative after learning about this letter relative about this term relative we will give a final definition for the motion so let us see let us understand let us discuss some examples to understand the term relative to understand the term relative so we need to understand the relative first so there is a house beside the road there is a house so one person a person a is walking towards west side west he is walking towards west and person b is there so he is walking towards east so let us say this is west direction and let us say this is east and there are two persons he is walking in the west direction and b is walking in the east direction so what is the position of the what is the position of the house with respect to the a i am asking the question to a what is the position of the a what is, what is the position of the house and a said the house position is a said house position is so when a was walking like this walking in this direction when a is moving in this direction then house is towards his right hand side right for the for the person a for the observer a the house is located right side right hand side the house is located right hand side let's come to the b so if b is moving in this direction b is moving in this direction for b the house is located in the left hand side direction so b will say i was asking to b that what what is the position of the house and b said that the position of the house is left to his side left to to him the and a said the position of the house is right right side and b said that the position of the house is left side so here the terms a right and left here the words right and left both are the same the observations of the both a and b the information of both a and b are same they are correct only he said correct answers so a said right yes the house is exactly located right to the observer a and for b it is located left so these are right but what was happened the position of the house the position the position of the house depends on the observer for a it is different and for b it is different the position the position of the house depends on the observer the position of the house depends on the observer so with respect to the observer the position may be changes for example for the students for the student near to me i was at a distance of 1 meter and for a student which is at last bench i was at a distance of 2 or 3 meters so what was the position from this student i was at 1 meter and from the last bench student i was at a position of 3 meters of distance so if you observe the position the position here the right and left depends upon the depends upon the observer depends upon the observer and hence we can call this position as we can call this position as relative we can call this position as relative so here the position is relative to whom the position is the position is related relative to observer if the physical quantity i am asking the position so that position is related to the observer 
that position is related to the observer this position concept is related to the observer so if the observer changes the position will be changes so a said that the position of the house is right right hand side and b said that the position of the house is left hand side so this position concept the position is related to the observers the positions is related to the observers if the observer changes the position may be changes so hence we can say that position is relative we can say that position is relative not only right and left sometimes up and down up and down the concept of the the terms up and down are also relative the concept of up and down are also relative let us see so there is a three stairs of building is there there is a three stairs of building is there person a person b was here and let us consider any object here so these both are searching for an object so they they are searching for some computer room is there in the second stair so computer room is there so with respect to a the computer room is located down to him in the downstairs so he will say that the computer room is in the downstairs just below the downstairs there is computer room and b is d b will say that the computer is the computer stair the computer room is in the upstairs so here what was happened the position of the computer room depends on the observer for a it is located in the downstairs for b it is located in the upstairs so what was happened the position concept the concept of position is relative relative to what relative to observer relative to observer so the concept of position is related to is relative so let us understand the concept of motion so let us consider a straight road and a tree is beside there a tree is there so you are standing here a tree is there and you are standing here this is you this is you only standing here and a car is moving a car is moving in the east direction a car is moving in the east direction and in the car there is a driver and a passenger is also there a driver is there and passenger is there so in the car car is moving in the east direction and car in the car the driver and passenger are there so you are here so let me ask the questions for you let me ask a questions for you so the position of the car the car is moving in the east direction the car is moving in the east direction so the car first initially the car was in this position after some time since it is moving the car will be in other position so with respect to you with respect to you the position of the is the position of the car is changing yes the since the i, I said that car is moving in the east direction the car is moving in the east direction since it is moving its position is changing in the its position is changing with respect to you and you are at rest you are at rest you are at rest and the car is moving <coughs> the position of the car is changing that's why can you say that can you say that the car is in motion yes why because why because the position of the car is changing and my first question is is the car is in motion or not yes he will say that the car is in motion and my second question is the passenger and driver are in motion yes you, what you will what is your answer is the driver and passenger are in motion yes of course they are moving along with the car the position of the driver and passenger is also changing along with the car and hence those are also be they also in the motion why because their positions also changing and my third question is the <coughs> position of the tree is changing no the tree is at rest so for you for you car 
car passenger passenger and driver are in motion are in motion with respect to you from the observation of you from the point of view of you from the point of view of you the car passenger driver are in motion car passenger driver are in motion with respect to you with respect to you from the point of view of you with respect to you so car passenger and driver are in motion with respect to you and tree is at rest tree is at rest so this is the observation so this is the observation from your point of view from your point of view this is the observation what is your observation from, from his point of view what is the observation the car passenger driver are in motion and the tree is at rest so let us consider the point of view of the passenger so let us let us imagine that passenger asking the questions to the driver so the first question is the passenger asking the driver is the position of the tree what is the state of the tree how the state how the tree was moving so if the car was traveling like this the tree appears to be moving in the backward direction so the passenger was asking the driver what is the state of the tree so he is asking that tree is at rest or in motion the passenger is asking the driver that the tree is in motion or are at rest and when the when the when the car is moving in the east direction when the car is moving in the east direction for the driver the tree appears to be moving in the west direction the tree appears to be moving in the west direction the position of the tree so initially the car was here and after some time it reaches to there since it is moving it reaches to there so the tree position was changing with respect to the driver the position of the tree is changing with respect to the driver so hence he will say that driver will say that the tree is moving in the west direction if the car is moving like this the outside tree appears to be moving in the west direction the trees appears to be moving in the west direction from the point of view of the driver the tree appears to be moving in the west direction so he will say that tree is in motion so driver so tree is in motion with respect to with respect to driver the tree is in motion with respect to the driver and here you also there you also will appears to be in motion from the point of view of driver so this person who is standing here appears to be in motion from the point of view of driver for the driver he appears to be moving in the west direction he appears to be moving in the west direction and for the driver the passenger is at rest the passenger is at rest with respect to the driver the passenger is at rest why because the position of the passenger was not changing the driver was driving the car like this and the position of the passenger is still there only after reaching some distance he is still there only the passenger distance doesn't changes the position is same the position of the passenger in the back seat doesn't changes so with respect to the driver the the passenger position is not changing and hence passenger is at rest passenger is at rest the passenger is at rest with respect to the driver so from this explanation the important observation is you have observed that passenger is in motion from the point of view of you from your point of view the passenger is in motion but from the driver's point of view the passenger is at rest from the driver's point of view the passenger is at rest so what you have observed here the concept of motion the concept of motion is related to the observer 
the concept of motion is related to the observer and hence we can say that motion is relative motion is relative so now comes to the now come to the definition of the motion now how can you define the motion if the position of the object is changing if the position of the object is changing with respect to the observer then the object is said to be in motion so the motion the concept of motion is related to the observer and object also the concept of motion is related to both object and observer so if i was moving what is my state so it is related to me and the observer so the observer who is walking along with me for his i was i was at rest and for the observer who is at rest position i was in motion so let us discuss some other daily example let us discuss another example so you if you and your your friend you and your friend uh, are traveling in a bus you and your friend are traveling in a bus so this is you and this is your friend so you are you are sitting in the bus and bus is moving in the in this direction so you are can you say that your your friend is your friend is sitting in front of you in the bus so you are sitting here and your friend is in front of you and the bus was moving so can you say that your friend is in motion no your friend is sitting in front of you only his position is not changing with respect to you his position is not changing you are sitting here only and your friend is in front of you only so the position of the your friend doesn't changes your friend is in rest with respect to you only from the person who is watching outside outside of the bus and there is a person who is outside the bus for him the bus is moving and hence the position of you and your friend appears to be changing for this person you both are in motion but for you the friend is at rest but for him the friend is in motion so what happened here the motion is related to the observer and the object also that's why we will say that motion is relative that's why we will say that motion is relative so let us write the definition of the motion definition of motion if the position of the object if the position of the object is changing is changing if the position of the object is changing with respect to the observer with respect to the observer then the object is said to be in with respect to the observer then the object is said to be in then the object is said to be in motion so if you observe the definition the definition is related to both object and observer so the concept of motion the concept of motion is related to object and observer and hence we can say that motion is relative motion is relative relative means relation it depends on others it depends it depends on the object and observer so it is depends on the motion the concept of motion is related to the observer the concept of motion is related to the observer so let us discuss the concept of distance and displacement let us understand the concept of distance and displacement so when the object is in motion when the object is in motion so definitely it will travel some distance so what is the definition of the distance you know that distance so when the object is in motion it will travel some distance right when the object is in motion it will travels some distance so let us say that so you are here and you have thrown some stone like this you have thrown 
some stone. So the stone will take a path like this. So the stone is travel like this and fall here and fall here. So the stone, the stone is travel like this. So this is the path of the stone. This is the path of the stone. The stone is traveled in this direction. In this path, the stone was traveled. This is the path of the stone. So you have thrown a stone like this and if you throw a stone like this, it will fall like that, right? So it will travels and falls on the ground. So this is the path. This is the path. So the distance is, the distance, the meaning of the distance is the length of the path traveled by the object is called as distance. The length, this particular path will have some length, right? You can measure this length. So the path, the length of the path traveled by the object is called as diff distance. The length of the path, the length of the path traveled by the object is called as, is called as distance. The length of the path traveled by the object is called as distance. Then what do you mean by displacement? What do you mean by displacement? So displacement is the, the shortest path traveled by the, the length of the shortest path between initial and final positions. Let us understand the meaning of displacement. So this is the initial position of the stone, right? This is the initial position and the final position of the stone is this one. The final position of the stone is this one. This is final position. So what is the possible shortest path between these two points? What is the shortest possible path? So this is one of the path. This is another path. There is another path also. These are the different possible paths. And the shortest path is, the shortest possible path is straight line. If you have two points, if you have two points, if you consider two points, if you consider two points, I have considered two points here, P, Q. So what is the shortest possible distance between these two points? So let us find the distance. You can find the distance between these two points like this. You can find the, this is also another path, path between P and Q. You can reach to Q in this way. You can reach in this way also. So what is the shortest possible way? The shortest possible way is the straight line. The shortest possible way is the straight line. So this is what we call as displacement. The displacement is the the shortest distance between the initial and final points the distance between the shortest distance between the initial and final positions so in the pre in the exam in the previous example we have discussed a throne was a stone was thrown a stone was thrown and it has taken a path like this it has taken a path like this so the length of the path is called as distance the length of the path is called as distance and the shortest distance between these two points this is the initial point initial point this is the final point what is the shortest distance the straight line joining the two points the straight line joining the two points will be the shortest possible distance between the initial and final po final position so this distance is called as displacement this distance is called as displacement. We will call this as displacement. So what is displacement? The shortest possible distance, the shortest possible distance, distance between the initial, the initial and final position of the object is called as displacement. 
the shortest possible the shortest possible distance between the initial and final position of the object is called as displacement so the straight line joining the initial and final position is the shortest way there is no any other shortest way this, can you say this is the shorter than this one no this is longer line so only the straight line joining the initial and final positions is the shortest way between two points so this what is displacement the shortest possible distance between initial and final position is called as displacement so this is the displacement and the path traveled by the object is called as distance the path traveled by the object is called as distance so with this this session was completed in the later session we will discuss that displacement is having some direction why it is having some direction so what we can call the physical quantities which is having direction in the next class thank you